Baby Bus. Let's go share it, Labrador. The Wolf Brothers fight. Oh, wow. The air is very fresh after the rain. Woo! Sheriff Labrador opened up the windows in Forest Police Station, breathing in the fresh air. Oh, ah, the whole town looks like it's been washed and so clean. Eh, aren't those the Wolf Brothers? As Officer Doberman was leaning on the windowsill, he saw two wolves running toward Forest Police Station. You! Stop right there! The younger wolf's face was swollen like a balloon. He was being chased and beaten by his older brother. He stumbled into the Forest Police Station. Oh, Sheriff Labrador, help! Oh! Soon after, the older wolf followed his brother into the police station. Sheriff Labrador, you be our judge. Is it right for a younger brother to beat up his older brother? Well, it's also not right for an older brother to beat up the younger brother. Tell me, why are you fighting? Oh, I'm so angry, Sheriff Labrador. My brother is rebelling against me. He hit me. Saying that, the older wolf shook his fist at his younger brother. I, 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 I didn't. Oh. The younger wolf was so terrified, he hid behind Sheriff Labrador. Sheriff Labrador, let me tell you what happened. This morning, we were working on Main Street. At first, everything was fine. Then my older brother said I was too slow, and he came over to teach me. Then, he beat me up for no reason. The younger wolf felt more and more upset as he talked. He couldn't stop crying. Uh, you're lying. You were the one who started hitting me when I walked over. You hit me until I was numb. Oh, Bill, Hill. I didn't hit him. Even if I were the strongest wolf in the world, I, I, I wouldn't dare hit my older brother. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What kind of work were you doing? <laughs> but putting up flyers? Our Grey Wolf restaurant is about to open. My brother said that we should publicize on Forest Main Street. <gasps> putting up flyers? Don't tell me you were sticking them to telephone poles. Sheriff Labrador's expression suddenly turned serious. Huh? Sheriff Labrador, how did you know? <laughs> Telephone poles are the most eye-catching spot for flyers. That is effective advertising. <laughs> well, I think I know who hit you. Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly lit up. Huh? My younger brother didn't hit me? Sheriff Labrador whispered something to Officer Doberman, then waved to the Wolf Brothers. Officer Doberman, we're gonna go to the telephone pole. Come on, show me the place where you were sticking flyers. The culprit who hit you is there. Sheriff Labrador, Officer Doberman, and the Wolf Brothers went to Forest Main Street together. Sheriff Labrador looked around and saw a telephone pole on the side of the street. There was a flyer advertising the Gray Wolf Restaurant stuck to it. Look, this is what hit you, the telephone pole. What? The telephone pole? Sheriff Labrador, that's very funny. Oh, I'm not joking. Officer Doberman, use the current detector to test this telephone pole. Copy that, Sheriff. Officer Doberman took out a current detector from the police car and tested the telephone pole. The current detector lit up. Oh dear, Sheriff Labrador, this telephone pole is discharging a strong current. As I expected. Wolf, this telephone pole is charged with electricity. You felt your body beaten and going numb because you got an electric shock. Electric shock? Why is the telephone pole charged with electricity? Telephone poles are not usually charged with electricity, but it rained this morning. If the telephone pole gets wet from the rain, they can be charged with electricity from the leakage. Stepping on puddles around the telephone pole or touching the wet telephone pole by mistake can result in electric shock. In non-serious cases, you may feel numb. But in serious cases, your life could be in danger. Oh, oh dear! This, this is very dangerous! I nearly lost my life! Uh, uh. Oh, bro! See? I really 
didn't hit you! <laughs> oh! <laughs> but I, I, I did hit you! Uh, well, will you forgive me? <laughs> yes, we're brothers after all. The Wolf Brothers hugged each other warmly. We've clarified things now. Please come to the police station with me. Huh? But we've made up with each other. <laughs> we, we won't trouble you anymore. <laughs> Sticking flyers on telephone poles without authorization, not to mention hitting others, is unlawful behavior. What? <sighs> Mini episode on safety. Woof. <laughs> la la la. It feels so cool after the rain. I won't be hot hanging up flyers. <laughs> hey, bro. Look, there's someone sticking flyers on the telephone poles. Hey, stop. Oh, dear, Mr. Wolf. It's very dangerous to touch wet telephone poles. He's right. Sheriff Labrador's safety talk. Wet telephone poles may be charged with electricity due to electrical discharge. Touching them, even by accident, is very dangerous. Friends, when it rains, you must stay away from telephone poles and also do not step in puddles around telephone poles. Never use your bare hands to touch telephone poles. Woof! <laughs> <laughs>